But Neville, it was great up to see you up there. Uh, looking forward to your performance. Oh, uh, thank you. I really enjoyed it. Have you played Rewind before? Yes, we have. Um, if you ask me when, I'll do so many. <laughs> I'm doing so many uh, festival. It's a lovely, colourful festival, isn't it? Oh, it's, I think I've done it before, yeah. but with my memory, I've been doing it so long, my memory is like shot. But I've done it before. Yeah. And another thing I've got to uh, say to you, I love doing festivals. I love it. The reason yeah. why, because the kids are there and they haven't, they can't go to clubs. So no. when the kids sees us, that's right. Yeah. Because back in the day, when you when you first started out, you tour, obviously you toured. But not as there weren't as many festivals as there are now. No, no, no. Now it seems like it's just going to be festivals. It seems like the clubs have been closed down. Yeah. Oh, the, all the clubs have been closed down. Sorry, it seems. So it it seems like it's going to be just festival taking over. Yeah. So it's forty years on, isn't it, from when you first started out? Yeah, and you've got to keep pushing that forty years. Yeah, 40 years. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. Um, you, you know something, when it happened, I didn't expect it to be going on this long. Because when you're doing it, you're just doing it because of the love of the music. And um, it, it's kind of nice now, thinking back. Because at the time, I didn't, we weren't doing it to be musician, pop stars or anything like that, you know what I mean? It was kind of weird for me because I'm, I'm from the street, if you know what I mean. Used to getting a bit of tumble and, and stuff like that. Yeah. But because of the band, that kind of pulled me out of it. Yeah. So what was it like when it first started, it started for you? Um, it was exciting because yeah. I just used to do um, sound system. So when it, it was a different kind of change for me because I used to hear the punk, but I was more into reggae. Yeah. But then I heard Jerry playing in, in, in the rehearsal next to me. Jerry was playing um, punk mixed with reggae. And I was in, in the other room goes, oh, that sounds yeah. different. So then, because I'm into music, when I heard a different sound, I just got into it more. And tied it up wires. I just didn't think it was going to happen. So what was it like to suddenly be on top of the pops? Mime, I find the miming a bit yeah. difficult because you're just getting the words like <laughs> when you're singing half like half the way through. It's oh, that's it. Yeah. It, it's, it was all right, but it's just kind of weird miming. Yeah. But it was it was exciting because you, I used to watch on TV Desmond Decker, Millie Small, and I always thought, oh, I'd love to do that. Yeah. Not thinking I would I would ever do it. Uh, yeah. Yes, I've got to say to you, yeah. Because I always wanted to do that. What's been the highlight of your career so far? Obviously, you've got so so many memories. The fun boy free and the specials and everything. But is there anything that sticks out in your mind? No, oh, there's, so, there's so many. I, I, it's hard to say. I'll tell you a nice one was when um, Amy came on stage with us. Amy Winehouse. Yeah. That was, oh, yeah, that was, really, that was oh, beautiful. Absolutely. Really enjoyed yeah. that. And that. Another thing, you... Rankin Roger, weren't you, in the beat? Special, special, special beat. Special yeah. beat, yeah. It's obviously sad news from last year. He was a lovely man. We'd interviewed him. Yeah, Roger, yeah. we're very close, myself and yeah. Roger. Um, I, I saw him. I used to go and visit him in hospital when he was nearly going. Then three days after I went to visit him at his house, he passed away three days after we seen him. But, yeah, yeah, it was rough. It was rough because seeing him in hospital... How he was, it, you know, it, it was kind of weird. Not weird, but it was kind of, yeah. it hits you. Yeah. At, least, at least his son is carrying on. Oh, yeah, him. and then you see him like how he was. It, it, it yeah. was it was hard, it was hard. Yeah, and then you obviously pay tribute to your grandson on the stage. Yeah, okay. but you see, the thing is, right, I, d I don't like to say anything. No. Because I started to say stuff, I start crying. So that's that's why uh, Sugar and my wife. That's why she she ha she has to take and uh, talk about it because when I talk about it, it just you know what I mean. Because my daughter now she's feeling it, so I don't like talk. Well, I say I don't like talking to it. I'll talk about it like now, <clears throat> but when I'm on stage, the love they're giving me back it starts you off. It starts you off, and they say, "Oh, comes rude boy crying." 
<laughs> oh, we got feelings as well, come on. Of course you have. Um, somebody said to me, when are you going to retire? I said, what's that? Yeah, no, <laughs> never retire, never yeah. retire. No, wait, oh, wait. <laughs> what's that? Well, I ain't going to stop. I'm not going to stop. I just like being on stage. Oh, I love you it. So much. That's all right. Thanks. Thank you.